This is how I help a movie director build his property portfolio. Now, this is not a TikTok client. This is a client from an accountant referral who usually refers me very high net worth clients. And now before I break down the structure, let's go into the video with permission that he gave me to see what was done. It's Q, man. Hey, just want to let you know it's settled, the refinance. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, bro, finally. Yeah, 1.8 mil refinance and uh, 200 G-ish for your uh, cash out. Awesome. Are you going to use that to uh, fund your movie, your next movie? Fuck no, man. I have my <laughs> own funding for that. I, I, what, what are you going to mix your pro company and your business, man? That's no go. <laughs> you know, you, you know the, the, the movie you did in Indonesia that you sold to Netflix? Yeah. yeah. You going to do another one? future maybe <laughs> okay okay uh look i said man like uh look if you want to use it to buy a uh, vacant blocks of land you can do it uh you just need to provide a contract or sale that's fine i already confirmed it with them yeah right that's why i only start shopping this time mm. when i've got the cash oh well, 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 got it for you man sweet then i'm gonna start shopping next week then. yeah no no <laughs> worries good. boss okay right, just want to let you know eh? Later, man. Okay. Thank you, man. Chat soon. Cheers. Thank you. As you can see, very happy bloke. Now let's jump into my drawing board and break down the structure. So step one for the client, which he has been working with me and his accountant for the last three years, which I helped him with his first property and his second investment property because he was earning a lot of money and he wanted to use some negative gearing strategies to reduce his tax. So now he wants to buy his third and fourth one. So what we're doing is a refinance on his PPOR to pull out 165K and his investment property to pull out 176K, a total of 300. $41,000 of cash out. So over here is the loan structure for his Nawi investment property. He currently owes 944 and the property is worth 1.4. So 80% against that is 176K cash out. These are both interest only five years with offset accounts. Now let's go to his PPOR to refinance his own occupied property, which is in Leamington, a very big house. It's worth $1.3 million. It's currently owing 875. So the difference of 80% is 165K cash out. The cash out will be interest only with an offset account as well. Simultaneously with the refinance, we're also doing the pre-approval so that he gives us docs one time and we process it simultaneously. So there we have the investment property pre-approval. It says 1.5 because he wants to buy two investment properties. So rather than doing two pre-approvals, we combine it into one and he can slice and dice whatever he wants. The strategy he has with his accountant, obviously I can't give financial advice, is to buy in Sydney. All his properties are in Sydney. Buy a uh, low rental yield, obviously three to three and a half percent compared to Adelaide and Western Australia. So basically high growth, looking for inner west properties or maybe near the uh, you know Western Sydney properties with houses or apartments in the inner west and then wait for the growth. And whilst he's accruing the uh, loss through negative gearing, that will help him reduce his tax. Basically, the next three months, the pre has dropped about last week. So we'll be buying his third and fourth property. So he'll sit on this for maybe 12 months or maybe 18 months, depending on the market. And what happens, we'll do it again. Cash out this, cash out this, and then get another pre-approval. Woohoo! As we speak, he's actually going overseas next week to do some another film that he's gonna do as a director slash producer. And he's telling me, hey Q, I'm actually gonna get a big lump sum of money from you know the uh, contract that he's uh, got with these movies. And he's gonna offset some of his loans, which is great. Now guys, I don't want you to confuse that this is only possible for high net worth clients. I have done this for a lot of clients between 100 to 150K. He obviously earns about 400 to 500K per year. Um, this is definitely possible for people that's earning 100 to 150K. You just need to aim smaller, start small rather than go as hard as him, but it's definitely possible. So definitely jump in the comments. Let me know what else you wanna ask.